Hey everybody, welcome. We'll get started here in uh, just a few minutes. We're just gonna let some people kind of trickle in. Hi, welcome. We're going to give it a few minutes and then we'll get started. In the meantime, feel free to let me know where you guys are joining from in the chat box. Or if we know each other, say hi. Hi, Karen. Oh, from Chicago. I love Chicago. In the summer, I love Chicago. <laughs> it's beautiful. Alrighty, just a few more seconds and then we'll get started. Hi, welcome. Do you let us know where you're joining from if you've just joined uh, in the chat box? Okay. Alrighty, so we will uh, jump right into it today. I'm really excited to have this talk. We are going to be talking about the importance of finding the right community as interior designers and how Foyer Neo is really stepping up to care for designers in all areas of their business. So that is me. Um, these are our links. So if you don't follow us on Instagram in particular, do make sure to follow us. If you're posting renders, uh, tag us. We love to share our designers work in all of our stories every day. So we'd love to feature you. And we're going to jump right into it. So two big takeaways from this webinar today. The first is, like I said, the importance of community for entrepreneurs and designers. Typically, they're one and the same. And we're going to go over myth busting for designers who are building their brand. And then the second thing is that we're going to officially introduce the new foyer community and how this community is going to support all of your needs, not just from a design perspective, but from a business perspective. Uh, if you have any questions, just add them to the Q&A box rather than the chat box and we'll get to them at the end. Alrighty, jumping right in. So the importance of community for the entrepreneur. Why is community important? So let's first discuss myth one. <laughs> myth one is that everyone thinks the way an entrepreneur thinks. And this is simply not true, right? The fact is that entrepreneurs are uniquely driven, sometimes uniquely energetic, and they have incredible vision. And for those of you on this call today, or for those of you watching this from our community page later on, this is you. And success as a business owner, it does not begin with a web page. It does not begin with a business plan, even. It begins with your mindset, developing the entrepreneurial mindset and then refining it and then protecting it like all hell from people who do not think the same way is the first step to successfully creating, growing, or scaling your business. It doesn't matter which level you're at. And for those individuals who 
do not share the same drive or vision or perseverance of that mindset can be extremely detrimental to your success. They may view your goal as too lofty. They may view the work as too great because it's not something that they would pursue, or they just might not even understand your vision clearly. And that can make it difficult for them to support you. So this can present itself as a lack of enthusiasm around your goals, uh, just a clear dismissal of your competence, or just like this barrage of all of the things that could go wrong or may be difficult for you. And I'm sure that some or all of these situations sound familiar to you guys. They certainly sound familiar to me and they're energy draining and they're deflating. And these opinions will undoubtedly seep into your view of what you think you can achieve if you don't have a community to turn to for support. So number one is identify those energy drainers in your life and just talk to them about something else, <laughs> but keep your business goals away from them. And number two is to find a community that not only shares the same entrepreneurial mindset as you, but is also specific to design. Um, as a designer, you, you need a safe, safe space. I don't know how else to describe it. A safe space for mentorship, encouragement, uh, a much needed pep talk when plan A doesn't go according to plan. And you also need actual design specific resources to help you succeed because the reality is that this is what builds that entrepreneurial muscle, right? Constant interaction with like-minded individuals is going to work out that muscle, build it stronger, and then maintain it. And that is what leads to success. So first, Understand that your mindset is A, unique, and then protect it, and then find your tribe. That's number one. And we're gonna, I'm gonna get on my soapbox and then I'm gonna give you guys some gifts. And that's gonna be the flow of this presentation today. So here's a little gift to break up all the talking and all the words. Any of my alias fans out there, I feel like I'm dating myself, but it's what it is. All right, myth number two is that claiming success means doing it alone or learning from scratch. And the fact is that always, always many minds are better than one. Why? Because a successful business owner is not a singular individual going it alone. It's a person with a vast network of, like I just said, like-minded individuals who understand their needs, support their vision, and then engage in open dialogue. It's also a person with the right resources. We do not have time as busy designers, I'm a designer myself, to search the web endlessly or read just like a never ending list of books to gain all of the information necessary to build our design business. If that were the case, we would never get started, right? So that's where community and specifically a community that encourages and fosters open and honest communication geared towards uplifting and informing each of its members really comes into play. Having a community that brings in all of the experience from its members, all of the design experience, all of the business experience, and then creating a safe place for you to openly ask questions, share feedback, and learn from industry leaders saves you an incredible amount of time. And it allows you to then redirect all of that time and energy towards actual designing and towards the growth of your business, right? So the person, there's a misconception that the, per, the person who believes that the only way to the top is by competing with the person next to them. That's no way to live, right? Because that person has then just sold themselves short incredibly short because they've blocked themselves off from all of that wealth of knowledge and experience that that person's brain has to offer. The person who recognizes that there's room for both themselves and the person next to them to succeed tenfold by combining that knowledge and that experience, that person will never fail. So that's why community is so important for you as a designer and for you as a business owner and it is gift time. <laughs> you guys are getting an insight into my preferences here as well with these gifts because I love all of these women. 
moral of the story, you don't need to do it alone. You shouldn't do, alo do it alone. You're selling yourself short if you do. And the reality is we all need help. All righty, next slide. <laughs> So now the really fun part, we're going to talk about how the foyer community can help, right? So having this mindset, this entrepreneurial mindset, it does not mean that you also have an MBA to accompany it, right? Your passion is design and the business aspect of your professional persona is how that design reaches people. And Foyer wants for you to be able to be fully immersed in the thing that you love the most and be really successful at it, which is why the Foyer community was came to be in the first place, right? So in the community, you will network and build your brand by creating your own profile. You'll showcase your business and your designs. You'll be able to view the work and connect with other designers in the community. You can even create your own web page. This was huge for me. I can't wait to show you guys this feature. It's called the portfolio through the foyer community, but it's something that potential clients can access independent of the community. So it's fully functional as a web page. So no more paying for your web page. Uh, and we're also a design specific job board where you can not only gain employment, but you can post your own jobs. And lastly, oops, I went, went, went ahead there, sorry. Uh, Lastly, at least for now, we're a hub for online coursework and mentorship pertaining to just every aspect of your design practice and growing your brand. So from marketing yourself to branding your business to matching with your ideal client, there is a course for you to study at your own pace with leading industry experts. And unlike other design societies and communities, all of this is available to you completely free of charge. So with all of that said, let's actually head into the community. I'm going to walk you guys through how to get your profile and portfolio set up, give you a little sneak peek, and then you guys can take it from there. I'll also jump ahead to um, some future slides and we'll talk about new features that are coming. So the first is you're going to head to community.foyer.com slash discover. When you do that, it's going to first redirect you to the normal FOIR login page. You'll just enter your credentials or you create a new account, and then it's going to bring you to this page here. This is the FOIR community. You're going to find all of the designers who have currently made accounts. This interface is going to change slightly next week when we launch our FOIR community wall, um, but still very basic. You'll be able to search for designers by name. You'll be able to uh, you know, share your work and comment and all of that. That's coming next week. We'll talk about that in a second. So for now, let's scroll down. We can select designers and view their profile. We can scroll down and see some featured projects. Select view all of the renders or the photos associated with that pro project and get some more information, like it, watch it, follow this designer, and we can scroll through like this. Tierney Larkin is here. You might uh, remember her a few from a few webinars ago. She was on a great, uh, a great talk on rendering tips. So she's a part of the community. Then as you scroll down, here is our job board. So if you're looking for a little side hustle, go ahead and search away, find something that you think might be a fit for you. And this is just like an Indeed. You can save, you can apply very quickly. If you create a portfolio, which is that web page I was talking about earlier, you simply copy and paste the link and then the designer can just view your work straight from there. You could add a cover letter or a resume and then click apply and it's that simple. It's going to keep track for you on any jobs that you've applied for or posted, like I said, just like an Indeed. All righty. We'll go back to the main page here and keep scrolling down. So these are featured portfolio portfolios. You're going to hear me refer to a profile and a portfolio. Those are not, I'm not using those words interchangeably. Your profile is your presence within the FOIA community, and then your portfolio is your web page. So these are featured portfolios. Let's click on Vanessa Redford's real quick. It's going to open up an entirely different link because, like I said, this is her web page. And this is her little welcome banner. You'll see it about me, all of her design services that she's offered, and then all of her projects for potential clients to view. 
I'll show you how she went about creating this in a second. And then lastly is our online learning. So as you can see here, we have a wonderful one hour. Nothing I think goes beyond an hour in these courses, which is so fantastic because it's easily digestible for working adults. We have a nice startup kit here. And then we have a whole host of leading designers in this industry who have partnered with Foyer and very graciously given us all of that brain power and condensed it into, like I said, very easy courses to, to manage. So you can go ahead and scroll. I'll just use this as an example here. We'll get a little intro from welcome Rose. Back, friends. I'm Rose and welcome to Interior Decorate Like a Boss. To make this creative process easy for you, I've created a digital workbook to be used throughout the course. So if you haven't already, download your workbook attached in the class section below and let's get started. All right, so you'll see here, there's a number of different modules. If I scroll down, I can search other courses, get more information about this one, and then just keep scrolling. Each module, it'll explain what I'm going to be getting out of the course. I can learn a little bit more about the designer herself. Here's that workbook that she was referring to that I can download, print out, and start working in, and I can even leave a review of the course for other designers in the community. And we're going to be adding to this course load constantly. Okay, we'll head back here. Let's talk about your profile. So when you first create an account and you log in, you'll see your name up here, and then you're just going to select this drop down and click on profile. When you do that, it's going to bring up this page and this is all going to be empty, right? So to the left here, do click on edit, upload either your face or your business logo and add that information here and click save. This is so fast and simple for somebody like me who's certainly not a web designer. <laughs> I loved how easy this was. So again, just click edit for your about and you can either enter a little blurb here or if you have a pre-recorded video introducing yourself, by all means, upload that from your computer. Click save. The behind the scenes, this is a nice place to just kind of brag about yourself and also let other designers in the community get to know who you are as a person outside of the designer. So you might talk about um, certain credentials that you have related to design, certain magazine features or podcast features that you've had and then just tell us about you i'm a mom i do pilates maybe some other designers out there do too and they want to connect right so as we scroll down further on your profile you'll have your social accounts again just click edit you can add those urls here and if you already have a website this is where you're going to add that so you'll go to add more links and then you'll just copy and paste the url here and that'll be added to your social accounts. Here is where you got to post your work for other designers in the community to view. So you'll simply select add work, you'll upload your renderings or your photos, give the product a name or project a name and a description, click save. And then this is what this looks like here. So say we selected this one right here. Another designer could come in, view my work, scroll down, check out the space, like it, watch it and then go through my work like this. Okay, so this is within the FOIA community. If you're in need of a website, what you're gonna do is again, click on this dropdown and you're gonna head to my portfolio. When you do that, it's gonna open up this screen here and you're going to select edit. So I've already entered this information, but I'll walk you through it. So the very first page, again, this is so streamlined. It was a breeze. I think it took me maybe 20 minutes, maybe. It's gonna ask for your company name, what you want your portfolio link to be called and to upload a logo, you'll click continue. And then on this page, you'll get to choose a theme and a layout for your webpage. So you'll see here, there's a few different options. You can always preview before you commit. So this is what this web page would look like in terms of its format, right? You can choose use this theme and get started. You can go back. I, I chose this theme. So I'm going to click edit because I already started mine. And then this is what this looks like. This is literally going to be the exact same format one through five. So a number one, we're creating this kind of homepage section of your web page. You're going to enter your design business, a little banner, and then a call to action. You'll upload an image or a render for the background, click save and continue. 
and then we're on to the next screen and it's the exact same thing. What I love about this is that I'm changing this and it's being reflected in real time. So I'm not guessing at how this is gonna look in the actual layout, I'm able to view it immediately. So a little welcome, a render uploaded, and then all of the services that I provide. So I can choose a little icon here. Let me scroll down here. So for my consultation, I chose the little people icon, gave my consultation a name, and then a little description. It'll prompt you to click on a little plus sign, a plus sign um, to add more design services, which I've done here. And again, you can just change those little emblems and then save and continue. So this is the last page I'll show you because it's the same exact process. It's just so easy. So next is all of your projects so that potential clients can take a look at your portfolio. It'll prompt you to add your first project and I'll just click on edit here to show you. You'll give it a name, give it a description, choose the header image, and then down below, you'll just upload any other images within the project. And here that is. We save that. We'll do that up to nine times for this portfolio. And then the end is just your contact information, so on and so forth, right? So you can send this link. This is my uh, webpage. You can send this link to your clients. They don't have access to the foyer community. This is just your webpage. And this is what this looks like. And what's so nice is that it's a single page that you can scroll down and get all of the information. So I can click here and it's just gonna scroll me down. And there we are. We can select and view. Alrighty, exciting stuff. Okay, so I'm gonna go back to the homepage here and now we're right back there. Okay, let's quickly talk about features that are coming as soon as next week that are gonna be added to the foyer community and then I'll take questions, okay? Alrighty. I would be remiss if I didn't give you guys another gift. <laughs> so there's a little bit more. Okay, so if things are coming next week, you might have uh, remember that I mentioned the foyer community wall. So this is where we're going to have all of that open dialogue that I talked about is so important. If you, this can be anything. If <laughs> you ran a 5K over the weekend, let us know. We'd love to support you. If you had an interesting client experience or a flub, or you are in a situation with a client who's maybe not an ideal client, we've all been there, and you don't know how to handle a situation, right on this open community um, board. Let us know. It's going to look similar to like a Facebook page, right? With, with a feed. Um, comment, share. We want to hear it all. If you have a question about your business model, if you need help, if you're in a creative rut uh, and you don't know where to take a design, go ahead and post your existing renders and the design community will respectfully and constructively help you get your design where you want it to be. Okay, so this is going to be a great networking opportunity, just a great way to connect with other designers and form friendships as well. Next is the foyer community exclusive. So you're going to be, I'm going to be on this community every day talking to you guys. And one of the things that we're going to be doing is a foyer community exclusive giveaway every week. There'll be some design challenges there. You'll be able to earn what's called foyer coins, which are coming soon that you can apply to your membership fees, uh, all sorts of stuff. So the community itself is a, it's free, but you can apply it towards your foyer new subscription for the software. We'll be having virtual happy hours, which I am very excited for, and networking events, and you'll also have access to exclusive trade discounts. In addition to that, you'll be able to create communities within the community, right? Just like a college campus where they have, I don't know, a knitting club. I don't know. I was on the, what was I on? Uh, Ultimate Frisbee <laughs> was me in college, right? I want you to create micro communities within this larger community to connect with designers who have specific interests, specific design styles, maybe specific business models to really bounce ideas off of each other and grow uh, in a more focused way. Speaking of which, monthly accountability groups. This is something I'm very excited to roll out. I want designers who are 
in similar stages of their business growth to connect in smaller groups, whether they meet on a monthly basis or a bi-monthly basis, set their goals, meet up at the end of the month and hold each other accountable and grow together. And that way you're gaining insight from people who are in the same kind of phase of your business growth as you are. So that's another opportunity. And then just forming friendships. I made so many designer friends through foyer in general and i can't wait to connect with so many more designers through the community and be able to have that real-time interaction and hopefully with many of you watching this today or uh, later on so that's what i have for you guys on the foyer community and what's to come thank you this again is the webpage community.foyer.com discover and it'll just don't panic when it rewrite reroutes you it's just asking for your login info okay Alrighty, so that being said, I will check out if there's any questions and then we'll go for there. Gotcha, okay, so yeah, the domain name. So what you do have the option to do is give it the portfolio name. You might've noticed when I first clicked on edit for my portfolio, I can enter in a specific name there. So that's one way that you could customize it. Alexia from California, welcome. Awesome, I'm glad you're excited. Definitely reach out when you uh, create your profile. Follow me, I'll follow you back. Can't wait to see your work. All righty, I'll give you guys a few more minutes. Thanks, you have a great weekend too. If there's any questions. Alrighty. All right, guys. Well, if that is it for you, uh, we'll be doing lots more on the for your community and webinars and on social media for you guys to gain more information as more features roll out and have a great weekend and I'll see you guys next week.